Hello and welcome to today's lesson on the electrical field strength which is part of the electrical fields a topic in AQA A level physics. So in today's lesson what we're going to do is we're going to try and define and describe the strength of an electrical field. So if we're successful and we learn in today's lesson we should be able to define and describe electrical field strength, describe how electrical field strength can change with separation from the charge and calculate the electrical field strength which links to the following part of the AQA A level physics specification 3.7.3.2 electrical field strength. Now, as we've mentioned before, a field is an important concept to define in the universe. Now, a field is a region in the universe where an object placed inside of it can experience a non-contact force due to its position in the field. Now, there are four main properties any field can be described with. However, in today's lesson, we're going to focus on one of these particular properties, the field strength, which details the force exerted on one object per unit property of the field due to that object being in the field and this property is due to the field itself produced in the universe. So for example the gravitational field strength is the force per unit mass experienced by an object inside a gravitational field. Now this particular field strength does not depend on the object itself in the field rather it depends upon the object produced in the field. So we're now going to consider the electrical field strength. Now, electrical field strength can be shown on electrical field line diagrams as the density of the electrical field lines. Now, the definition of electrical field strength is that the electrical field strength is the force per unit charge experienced at a position in the field. So you can look in a radial field that the electrical field strength changes at different places of the radial field, whilst in a uniform field, the electrical field strength is the same everywhere in the uniform field. Now we know that for a radial field, the electrical field strength changes, it decreases with distance from a charged object because the electric field line density decreases. Whilst in a uniform field, we know the electrical field strength stays constant because the electrical field line density stays constant throughout that electrical field. Now, electrical field strength is a vector quantity, which means we've got to give a direction to it. Now it points in the direction that a positive charge would move if it was placed in the field. Now remember all electrical field quantities are defined in terms of positive charges. There is no fundamental reason why this is, it's just the standard notation of electrical fields. Now as we mentioned before we now need to amend our previous definition of electrical field strength. So the electrical field strength is the force per unit positive charge experienced at a position in the field. Now the units of electrical field strength are newtons per coulomb which indicates to us that our equation is going to be force per charge. So there are actually three different equations to calculate the electrical field strength in an electrical field. Now this, the first equation is the general equation for every field based on the fundamental definition of the electrical field strength. So electrical field strength is force divided by charge, so big E is equal to F over Q. So for example, you could be asked, what is the electrical field strength around a point charge if a 3.20 times 10 to the minus 19 coulomb charge experiences a force of 7.30 times 10 to the minus 15 newtons. Well you do E equals F over Q and you work out your answer and this particular answer is 2.28 times 10 to the 4 newtons per coulomb. Now that particular equation can be applied to any electrical field. However we can consider an equation which only looks at uniform fields and can only be applied to uniform electrical fields. So for example an electrical field between two parallel plates, for example a capacitor, is uniform. So a charge will experience the same force wherever it is placed between the plates. So this tells us the electrical field strength only depends on two factors, the potential difference between the plates and the distance between those plates. So we have our new equation for electrical field strength which doesn't have a distance term in there because the electrical field strength does not get affected by the distance or the separation from the 
the charge in a uniform field. So electrical field strength is potential difference divided by distance of separation between the plates, or E is equal to V over D. Now, if you think to yourself, well, the units of potential difference are volts and the units of distance are meters, so you can quite rightly say that the units of electrical field strength could also be considered as volts per meter. Now, the units of newtons per coulomb in volts per meter are in fact equivalent. They mean the same thing, but it, it tends to be the standard practice that volts per meter is only used in the context of uniform fields, while newtons per coulomb can be used in any example. Now, there is also a third equation, an equation just for radial fields. So if we consider two charged particles, each particle is producing a radial electrical field. Now, we know the force on each particle is given by the Coulomb's law equation, F equals Q1, Q2 over 4 pi epsilon 0 R squared. Now, we can define electrical field strength as the force per unit charge, so E equals F over Q1, which we can substitute into Coulomb. Coulomb's law. And we can use this by saying F is equal to EQ1. So as a result, we substitute in EQ1 into F. We then notice to ourselves that Q1 will cancel through in this equation. So we now know that E is equal to Q over 4 pi epsilon 0 R squared, which gives us our equation for the radial field strength. Now, only one charge is considered as the electrical field strength is the force per unit charge caused by being in the electrical field of that charge. So the Q term in this equation refers to the charge of the object producing the electrical field. So let's just talk about this. If we consider a radial electrical field of an object, from the equation we realise the electrical field strength decreases with separation from the charge, making the, field, making the field with the relationship E is directly proportional to 1 over R squared, which is another case of the inverse square law. And we can also work this out from the field line diagram because we know that the field lines are spreading further and further apart as you get further from the object producing the electrical field. So the field line density is decreasing. But please do note that if a charged object is not a point charge, so for example it is a charged sphere like a Van de Graaff generator, then the electrical field strength relationship is not E is directly proportional to 1 over R squared because this relationship is only true from the surface of the charge object. So you can only consider it from the surface of the charged object and not inside the actual object itself. So let's just clarify what we know so far. Electrical field strength is the force per unit charge experienced by a positive test charge placed at that point of the field. And there are three equations we can use to calculate this particular quantity. There's the general equation, which is E is equal to force over charge. We've got the equation for uniform field which is E is equal to potential difference over the distance between the plates, and we've got the equation for radial fields, which is E is equal to Q over 4 pi epsilon 0 times by the distance from the charge squared. So remember, the general equation uh, shows the general definition for electrical field strength to be the force exerted by the charge at any point in space, and can be used for any electrical field. The equation for uniform fields shows that the electrical field strength between two plates is dependent only on the distance between the plates and the potential difference across the plates, whilst the equation for radial fields shows that the electrical field strength exerted by an object is due to the charge of the object and the distance you are away from that object. So remember, when you're using the radial field equation, you've got to square that distance from the charged object, which is a common mistake people make in examinations. So to summarise what we've learnt in today's lesson, we understand that we can represent electrical fields with electrical fields lines, we understand electrical field strength, we know that E can be defined as the force per unit charge, and that the magnitude of E in a uniform field is given by E is equal to V over D. So for being successful, and we've learnt in today's lesson, we can define and describe electrical field strength. We can describe how electrical field strength can change with separation from the charge, and we can calculate the electrical field strength. I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson on electrical field strength, which forms part of the electrical fields topic in AQA A-level physics. Thank you, and have a lovely day.